It's Friday the 14th of November and that means it's World Diabetes Day. I'm joined over Skype by registered dietitian Natalie Matt, who's also a spokesperson for ADSA, to discuss the ins and outs of this condition and to detect some of the early warning symptoms. Natalie, good morning. Please could you tell us first of all how South Africa compares to other countries in terms of our rate of diabetes? Is this something that we need to be more vigilant about? In South Africa, we do have quite a significant number of people that have impaired glucose tolerance or they don't manage blood sugar, their blood sugar very well. Almost one in five South Africans have poor blood sugar control and 9.5% of South Africans, according to the South African National Health and Nutrition Examination survey results released last year, have diabetes. So quite a high percentage of the population. Explain to us the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. So type 1 diabetes, we used to call it um, it's juvenile diabetes because it was really only younger people that would get it. It's an immune response where the insulin-producing cells inside your pancreas are destroyed by the immune system, and so these people do not make any insulin at all. Mm. Type 2 diabetes, however, people do often still make a small amount of Insulin, but their pancreas is producing less and less insulin over time, mm. and this is the one that is associated with later onset. Although we are seeing it more and more in children, and the positive factors here is that blood sugar slowly becomes dysregulated because of lifestyle factors or weight, and over time this leads to the destruction of the beta cells or the insulin-producing cells inside the pancreas. But it can be diagnosed now at almost any age. 